G'day and welcome to Blokes World, a show made by two blokes with two cameras and one idea. We start filming every episode on a Friday once we've knocked off work. Enjoy. viewers and welcome back to a brand new series of Blokes World and boy are we kicking it off in a big way this series. We're outside of Yamba in central Queensland for Rough as Guts Racing, a brand new event that's going to hit our calendars now yearly and check it out. We've got lawnmowers, we've got V8s, we've got Harleys, we've got dirt bikes and we've got hill climbs. Stick around, this is what else you're going to see on tonight's episode and welcome to Blokes World. Tonight on Blokes World, we're heading to North Queensland for the first ever running of Rough as Guts Dirt Racing, an absolutely awesome weekend. Plus, from there, we'll be heading south to check out what's under the hoodie. Then we're off to Melbourne for the Winchester Come and Try Day. And then we're going to take you surfing in Hawaii. Then we'll bring you back to Australia, to our nation's capital, for a bit of speedway. Then it's back up to Brisbane to check out the Gun Dogs. And then we're in country New South Wales to check out BJ Shed. Stick around, tell your mates, here comes Blokes World. watching the show you know we're massive fans of dirt drags and we've seen bikes quads peewees dirt bikes and today it's cars and check out this rig here hey what a ripping bit of gear and i've got malcolm the owner here welcome to blokes world champ oh, yeah, no, how you going? Mate, good really well now tell us tell the viewers a bit about your ride uh it's an old frame we picked up and um it's got a 308 uh, with a cam and headers and um a worked uh, trimatic and a mini spooled nine inch. So, a little bit of forward in there, but yeah, we use it on a dirt track at home and thought we'd come here and fry some tyres up on the burnout pad and give her a bit of a run up the drag strip. This is something you bought to race or you've had it around home in the oh. back paddock? Yeah, we've had it at home and um, I bought it because a bloke had it and he was going to restore it and we thought, eh, best we have it. So we bought it off him and, um, and then we've, we've built it up to what it is today with the auto and the, and the engine and that in it. So well, It's a fine line between yeah. restoring and destroying, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, it's a bit past restoring now, but it's a great fun buggy. So it's great for the kids to play in on the farm and, and uh, yeah, we've got a flat track at home that we play on. So. Yeah. No, yeah, mate, it's awesome. Great fun. And welcome, thank you so much, mate. G'day viewers and welcome to the hill climb section here at Ruffers Guts. And if you're wondering what television show you're watching. Blow I love Queensland and this is the hill climb. Can't feel my legs. 
just woke up. I'm lying in a bed all cracked up. What happened, doctor? I was on the pace. You've got to patch me up and get me out of the place. I'm sorry, son. Listen to me. You're going nowhere. You just had to wait next week.
Well, viewers, the stock cars have just raced, and congratulations, Ned, taking our first place. Thanks, mate. Thank hey, you, you very much. You're going to have to go home and build a new shed for your new trophy, hey? Yeah, yeah, we're getting a collection now, it's good. Mate, awesome. Yeah. Well, how'd you find the track out there? Oh, very difficult, very, very tough. Very slippery, very rough, but it was good. Everyone had to drive on it, mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's good. Can you tell our viewers a bit about your ride? You built this yourself back home? Uh, me and my brother, yeah. Andrew, um, we both built it. And, um, yeah, done it all at home, sort of real budget crew we are. So built the motor ourselves, yeah, done everything ourselves. We got the cage out of another car and went racing. It was great. No worries. Well, when it comes to budget crews, you're getting much respect from blokes. Well, don't you worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about your sponsors. The Royal Hotel must be great being sponsored by a pub, eh? It is good, yeah. Yeah, it is very good on a Friday. Yeah. Are you going to yeah. donate this to the pub to put behind the bar and get yourself free beer for a year? Oh, they've actually got one of my trophies at the moment that's bigger than me. Mm -hmm. I, I won last year at the Bendy 500. Yep. Um, that stays at the bar and, yeah, I get to go visit it. Awesome. And how, long, how many years have you been racing for now? Uh, three years in Stockers mm -hmm. and one year in Fender Benders before that and done demo derbies. Excellent. That's where I started. And where, and where do you call home? Because I heard when you came off the track, you went. You said to your mates, mate, that's just like the road to my house. Yeah, mate, yeah, I come from Dungog. It's about an hour and a half uh, north of Newcastle. Yeah, up in the country in the sticks. Yeah, awesome. There's something in the water up there, isn't there? Because every bloke that we've met that goes fast in the car or a dirt bike, they all come from around that little pocket of an area. It must be a great racing area, eh? Yeah, the Hunter Valley's pretty good for breeding crazy people. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Look, Ned, thank you so much for being on the show. I know you've got photos, selfies and autographs to sign over there. <laughs> thank you so much, champ. All right, viewers, stay tuned. This is a great example of a man using his power for good, not evil. A great shed. BJ, welcome to Blokes World, champ. There you go, mate. Awesome. Now, I've got to say, we went through a bit of a walk through the shed before we started this segment. You've got a ripping collection of cans here. You ever had any pickers, people coming over and have a look at stuff? Yeah, mate, every now and again, mate. They, they wheel in and try and buy a few bits and pieces off me. Ah, awesome. Yeah. Well, we never tell anyone where the sheds are in Australia, but you are in a beautiful pocket of Australia right here. And inside your shed... Straight up, let's talk about the 50 Towie. Yeah, Chev, eh? Valley driver for you? Mate, it is, it is, mate. I take it to all my, all my auctions and that, and, you know, cart cars, your furniture, or what, you know, petrol bears is in it. She's a tough old girl. And is that what you do for a living? Do you do a lot of swapping and trading? Mate, just trading? On, on my days off, mate, do a bit of wheeling and dealing and that, and that's how I, how I get my collection, you know? Ah, awesome. Yeah. Do you mind if we show the viewers some of your yeah, collection? Mate, go for your life. Now, one of the first things that caught my eye is this beautiful gravity-fed pump. Rare as these things nowadays, aren't Yeah, you? mate, hard to get, hard to get. Yeah, mate, a lot of bikes restore them. I kind of like the old rusty look about them, so... Yeah, yeah. I've always been a rat rod man myself. Yeah, Anything yeah. that's rusty and beat it up, I much prefer it. Yeah, mate, I'm a bit the same. And tell me <laughs> about same. your cans up here. I mean, they are spectacular. Whereabouts do you find that sort of stuff? Mate, just do a bit of door knocking, go to all the auctions, you know, clearance sales, wherever I can. Garage sales, all the works, you know. Awesome. Yeah. And if we go through here... This is like the business end of your shed, eh? You got your own little gym here. Yeah, mate, doesn't get used all that often, not as much as the bar anyway. Now, I guess this is part of your workshop. Yeah. Just mate, outside yeah. the gym, eh? Yeah, mate. Business end, yeah. Mate, he's got some great signs there, you know, the Michelin man, Penzo. Whereabouts do you get these garage sales, tracking them down? Yeah, mate, all over the place, you know, doing a bit of door knocking, old cockies and yeah, mate, all over Australia, you know. Ah oh, mate, yeah. awesome. and, and the hunt is just as good as the fine, exactly isn't it? Exactly right, mate, exactly right. Yeah. And your double bowser over here. What do you, what can you tell us about your Texaco? Mate, that was my first bowser I ever got. Um old bloke in town, yeah, got me got me collecting, you know. So that was my first one I ever got and I haven't stopped since. <laughs> it is addictive, isn't it? Yeah, mate, yeah. I yeah, think every bloke. every bloke needs a passion, whether it's collecting stubby coolers or building a car or a bike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Getting some good bits of Australia because if it wasn't for blokes like you, we're losing a large chunk of our history here, aren't we? Yeah, mate, exactly right. And that's why it's worth so much. Everyone used to throw it away, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. And it's back in the day when things were built to last. I mean, you look at some of them signs of the porcelain coatings and, you know, it's, they're pieces of art. Yeah, mate, yeah. Awesome. All right. Should we head down to the party section of the shed? Sounds good to me. All right. The bar section. Once again, two more bowsers, eh? Yeah, mate. Got a couple floating around. And you know what I was noticed before? This table, I thought it was actually going to be like a Galaga table, but you're running a roulette wheel there. Yeah, mate, yeah. No, she's an old gaming table, that one. Where did, used a bit. Where did that come from? Mate, they reckon that used to be out of an old train carriage. But yeah, yeah mate, mate, I just bought that at a clearance sale one day. Thought it was pretty cool. But in the, in the uh, casino carriage of a train. Yeah, mate, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And then you look over here, you've got some of those old school doctor cases. What else have you got over there? Mate, I collect bits and pieces of everything, mate. There's an old fire extinguisher there, you know. Couple of old trunks, old cigarette box there, another porcelain sign. Tractor seats. Yeah, a couple of old tractor seats. Got an old burn surfboard there. Yeah, yeah. That's wicked. 
two things that you're going to need in every bar is a pool table and a dartboard. Exactly right, mate. Yeah. Next time you see it on television, you should watch it because the World Championship of Darts is kind of like a rock concert with two guys with beer guards throwing darts. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, right. Eh? I'll mate, have to have a look. Have a look at that. This fella here, are these locals? Yeah, mate, all local. All, all come from yeah, local properties around the place. There's no shortage of pigs in this country, is no, there? No, mate, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. That's why we like catching them. I love in the old KB logo you got up there, eh? Yeah, you don't Good old drop. Very often, mate. Nah. Old KB these days. No, nah, an absolutely ripping bit of Yeah. Gear. And obviously you've got all the drinks here that you, no one's allowed to touch for special occasions. Oh, mate, they, they get sold into pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> special exactly occasions come yeah, up quickly, yeah. don't they? Yeah, exactly right, mate. Awesome. And I'm loving all these old school, like, Grizzly Adams bear traps and all these old bits and pieces you've got here, eh? Yeah, mate, that was actually my uncle's. He donated it to me, mate, from your man cave, so... And I've just spotted your Esky collection. <laughs> That's awesome, eh? The yeah, KB yeah. Esky. How much did you pay for that? Uh, 15 bucks, mate. Local swap mate again. But, mate, I've been offered 250 bucks for that esky, believe it or not. Awesome. And what's the esky above it? Mate, that was my first esky I ever got. She's an old tin one. Yeah, all, all in pretty good nick. All right, well, let's just head down here into this, the treasure chest corner. Now, I was a bit worried because I've been looking around the shed, you know, you've got the pigs, you've got the Jim Beam signs, you've got the pool table. I'm thinking to yourself, where's your Ned Kelly picture? <laughs> and sure enough, here he is up here. You've got to have a picture of Ned Kelly Every in your shed. You've got to have one, mate. Yeah. You can't have an Australian shed without Ned Kelly in it somewhere. Mate, it's absolutely awesome. And what are some of the... You've got old... Are these old tobacco tins? Yeah, tobacco tins, train sets, mate. Um, what else is in there? A couple of old, more service station sort of stuff. Um, a few old bottles, mate, an old sword. Mate, how great are these old soft drink cartons you got here, eh? They'd be, what, 50s? Yeah, I, mate, I reckon. Probably the bottom one would be. Yeah, the, the top ones are a little bit earlier. Yeah. That's an old jelly night box, that one, for explosives. Jeez, you've inspired me to add some more stuff to my <laughs> shed. BJ, thanks so much for having us around. No worries at all, mate. Thanks for coming. Oh, mate, I think, I think we might have won a logie with this one. <laughs> well, viewers, that was Man versus Council, and this time, Man has won. G'day viewers and welcome back to Blades of Glory where we're checking out some of the fastest lawnmowers in our country and we've got one right now. Tan, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm glad Girl lawnmower racer. Hey, yes. how good's that? It is. It's very good. Yeah, we live just down the road, not far from here. So. And what is it? What is it about this Yammer in this area? Because it is like the home of lawnmower racing in this country, huh? Yeah, that's what we reckon. Yeah, definitely. We well, have the best track in Queensland, so we say, until proven otherwise. Yep. And uh, yeah, great people. You're probably in the only, only, only sort of sport that has a pub dedicated to lawnmower <laughs> racing as well. We're staying at the Royal Oaks Hotel and the whole pub is just full of racing lawnmowers. That's it. The publican is the treasurer of the club and, uh, yeah, he's manager of the track as well, basically. So gets into it and, yeah, promotes it, the sport and he's a nice guy. Yeah, you kind of get the vibe it's more of a lawnmower racing clubhouse than it is actual pub. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll be back up later on the year to watch watch the Nationals across the road from the pub. That's going to be an absolute treat for us. That'll Tana, no, you guys are out there next on the drag track. Yeah, going to get ready. Sitting down with my smoking hand. I'm chilling like ice. We gamble the dice again. Moving smooth. I have to think ahead about the best tactic to get you into my bed. Too bad. 